I have a question as far as do you ever get leads on people trying to sell a property? Say they're they're trying to do a cash out refi or they're trying to see how they can and, and they decide, you know what, I just I think I want to sell instead of go through all that process. Do you ever get people like that? Um typically no. Okay. Typically, no. I mean, if the investor really, if, they, if they're coming out for a cash refi, they want to keep their property. Right. Right. So, and if the if the cash refi, what typically happens is the cash refi doesn't work out. Instead mm -hmm. of saying sell, they'll just say, well, I'll just hold on to it a little while longer. Yeah. And, and let the natural progression of the rents go up over mm -hmm. time to where they got enough of a spread. Because the, the, the bigger the net operating income, the bigger the value. Got it. Right. So so another reason why I was asking about this is like, how can how can we be a service to you? Or how can we be a service to, um, you could be a service to Moa. <laughs> I'm just well, kidding. I, I, so, I'll tell you, like, if someone were, where people can be a service to me, yes. I mean, you know, I'm, I make money off the river, not the reservoir. Right? Got it. Yep. It's the flow. Yep. Right. So, it, the off the flow of deals, I'm one of those people who like appraisers, right? Like real yeah. estate agents, right? Lend I'm making money off the flow of deals. The, be the better the flow is, the yep. more my investors are buying and doing more stuff, the better it is for me, mm -hmm. right? So if I can help my investors do more deals, you know, it makes me more money. Right. You know, I'm not trying to make a killing off of one person. Yeah. You know, I, I and I and I mean my ideal situation as a business model is for me to have a hundred investors mm -hmm. that are doing ten or more deals a year. Mm -hmm. Rather than a thousand investors doing one. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. now as a consequence of that, when guys like you find a deal mm -hmm. and let's say, you know what, you don't want to buy it for whatever reason. Yep. You know, it's not, you know, it's a nice deal, but it's not close enough to me physically. Right. Right. Um, because, you know, most people want a deal that's within the half hour mm -hmm. to an hour drive of, you know, where they're at. Right. Or, they, you know, maybe they don't like the numbers per se for their own parameters you know yeah. they want to make they want to knock it out they want to get a home run they want to make 35 percent on every deal mm -hmm. this deal is only doing 20 percent. that's too small for them okay well call me with the deal okay send me the deal mm -hmm. okay now i'm not i'm a i am a lender i am yes. not trying to get in your game of making money on the seller real estate i'm yep. never going to ask someone to say, hey, can you, you know, give me a little something on the side, mm -hmm. you know, da, 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 da. you do what you do on the real estate side, I'll do what I do on the lending side, right? I don't, I don't count someone else's money. I'm yep. not trying to pick their pocket, but I, I'm more than happy to help someone move that real estate if I have another investor and I do have investors that are looking to buy stuff. Mm -hmm. And if they say, and if I call them and then this separates me from, 99% of the lenders they're dealing with, all my investors, I know what their criteria is. And every okay. time I run across a deal that fits when I'm calling the phone, mm -hmm. and I'm like, hey, Randy, I got this deal. It's a 12 unit. It's on such and such. You know, the cash flow looks good. We'll finance it. Because obviously, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to talk about a deal I can't finance. Right. Right. Here's what the down payment's going to look like. Here's what the cash flow is going to look like when you're done. This is the ARV is going to be what you think. Got it. And so if you got a deal out there and it doesn't work for you, you're not interested in buying it. Maybe it's a shopping center. And you want to do multifamily. Maybe it's a warehouse, you know, mm -hmm. you're automotive, you know? Yeah. If it's a good deal, please send it to me. Then I can follow it to one of my investors and help them make money, you know? Okay. Yeah, most definitely. Um, and that's where I also, how I think investors can use you as well is a second pair of eyes, looking through the deal, making sure the numbers work. You know, um, you're also somebody who's not going to go behind somebody's back to try to steal a deal. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's just whether it works or not, you know, um, it just kind of goes from there. So, and that's back I, to I, where I, I said I, building I'm a an, team. I'm an investor, but yeah. I don't, I don't play in the same market that right. most of my investors do. You know, right, right. I, I, I do single tenant net lease properties. Mm. So me and my investor buddies, when we have our, our, our Sunday night conference calls mm -hmm. where we lay out what's our plan for the week. Mm -hmm. We're like, hey, go check out this property or go spec, go look at this property. Or, hey, bro, go look at this. You know, we're looking yeah. at single tenant and 99.999% of my clients are not investing in that in, yeah. in that blue ocean. So explain what that means, single tenant. Um, it would be like if, example, um, I had a, we had a deal was a subway. Okay. Right. And subway was leaving. Okay. So the building was empty. Got it. Okay. When, when commercial property is empty and it's not cash flowing, it's worth less. Yep. Right. So we buy it at that lower amount mm -hmm. and then we get tropical smoothie in there. Got tropical it. smoothie signs a 10 year triple net lease. Corporate guarantee, meaning if they move out, they still got to pay us the remainder of the lease term, yeah. those payments, and they're paying, let's say, 400000 a year, right? So you do the math, 400000 divided by, yeah. you know, 6.5% cap rate equals blah, you know, we're buying it at this price. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah. You know. Now, do you ever work with a tenant about helping out with the construction or anything like that. Cause I know in commercial, it's all on the tenant to do the construction to, to match what they want. You yeah. know, no, like, not my wheelhouse. Got it. All right. Yep. So you just kind of tell them, Hey, we take care of the outside, you take care of the inside or whatever signage needs well, to be done. And, and, and the tenants you know? that we deal with on, on that, that kind of thing, like, you know, um, uh, Walgreens or Foot Locker yep. or Tropical Smoothies, you know, they they have who they want to use. You know, if it's a Starbucks, yep. they already have relationships with who they're going to use. On the they have their cookie cutter people that know yeah. exactly their systems That's exactly and what right. they want to do. And corporate has specific guidelines for how, how that store has to look. Now, I don't want to jump off too far, right. but I do want to ask this. How do you, how did you develop those relationships to get those people to you? Did you put up an ad on Craigslist? <laughs> did you <laughs> define I mean, those? Far as as I, far as which relationships specifically? To, to, to get like say the subway or the, the tropical smoothie into your building. I mean, are they just calling you up? because you have a vacant property are you listing it on oh, something no. called like an mls for no, commercial I youtube i use youtube <laughs> what so, yeah i use youtube so when when we market and i i don't know if this would be applicable to you guys right hey. but like like my quote unquote competition they don't do this stuff but right. you know this is a little free stuff but <laughs> my people will kill me uh -oh. <laughs> We do a YouTube video, so okay. but it's private. It's not public. So you, ah. know, you, you can do a private video yeah. where yep. it has yep. to have the exact number, the exact you know, link, about, backslash yep. one eight seven five three, that kind of thing. We'll yep. do a private video on YouTube, and then I okay. send it to the prospective tenant. Mm. You know, so there's a video of me. You can't find it, but it's on YouTube that says, hey, I'm Malcolm Turner with blah, blah, investment group. Mm -hmm. This is our Walgreens behind us. This is the corner. You got this business over here. You got this business because corporate tenants want to know what other corporate tenants are around that space. Yep. It's a whole different type of, of thing. Yeah. So we explain the traffic count in the area. Mm -hmm. we, you know, we show them, I, I, we swing the camera around. I show them the other, you know, corporate tenants that are that they like to be near that mm -hmm. are near them yep. right and I, then I show them the outside of the building in the parking lot mm -hmm. is you know 13,000 square feet it's this this and this let's go take a look on the inside mm -hmm. and now sudden the video cuts and now I'm on the inside of the building hey it's an empty shell it's moving ready you know blah 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 it's really only like a 
three minute video tops okay tops. you know yeah corporate people's time is very it's worth well you know, it's a not lot, a lot to so. talk about but but it, but what it does is it gives them a sense of they can hear the traffic they can see the yeah. you know they can see the traffic count going by and they're like oh okay you know and then we go on the inside we just show them the shell yep this is mm -hmm. it blah 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 call me and then what i do is i send out that email to the the prospective tenant with a link to that private video mm -hmm. you know so i'll say hey i've got this property i think you might be interested because every one of those businesses <clears throat> take for example like um, um savoy sliders or tropical smoothie or starbucks they've got guidelines on what the real estate needs to look like for them to participate right okay i know what those guidelines are so i only send them the stuff that fits their guidelines mm -hmm. you know and then if they're interested they call you know and then we you know we set up a site visit and sign the lease and in in, in our business when they sign that lease mm -hmm. as soon as that lease is inked the value of that property goes up immediately okay you know because you got guaranteed income coming in for 10 years or 15 years or whatever it is okay you know i need to get so, the commercial game <laughs> you know, that's a different the, but the the fundamentals are still the same yeah. location 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 mm -hmm. right income 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 <laughs> right buying here doing some type of value add yeah in our, in our situation the value add is getting the right tenant in there mm -hmm. you know to get it here yep you know and then you either flip it you know you know you might buy a property at four hundred thousand, and then now you you, you sign that that uh, corporate tenant now it's worth eight hundred thousand okay you know and then you sell it you know there's a foot locker um on greenfield and eight mile in oak park mm -hmm. crossing the old northland mall yep right it's like a kid's foot locker a regular foot locker and then there's another like lady foot locker i think and okay. it looks like it's three stores like a little mini strip mall yeah but in actuality it's one building okay. the developer went in you know built that thing from from ground up Signed the deal with Foot Locker and immediately put that thing on the market at six and a six and a quarter, six and a half percent cap rate, you know, mm -hmm. which was, you know, my estimate was about a mil and a half, two mil more than what they spent. Okay. You know. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I'm in the wrong business. I need to get into that commercial game. So but you know, you know hey. It is what it is. You got to work your way up. That's kind of how you. But I don't. Do things, I don't so. compete with my clients. Right? That's good. So I'm, not, yeah. I'm not buying SFR fix and flips. I'm not buying multifamily. Yeah. You know, because um, I don't want there to be a conflict of interest. I don't want someone to think about, well, man, this is a really good deal. It's off market. Can I share this with my lender? Yeah. Because you know, I will always make more money as an investor than I will as a lender. Mm -hmm. you know so oh, 100 and and there's there's loan to own shops out there um that their whole purpose is to do quote unquote bad deals that they mm -hmm. hope intentionally go under got it because if i do a loan at 60 percent of value and the guy's got terrible credit and you know the the property he has to work his exit plan perfectly Mm -hmm. and it doesn't work now i got this property with 40 percent equity in it right you know where we don't play that game you know uh, no you and that's one thing i like about you even from the first time i met you um and i met you at a multi-family meetup by the way so if you're not going to meetups you need to go to these meetups absolutely you, you meet guys like this and, and go from there but you're you're super open super honest and that's what I, that's one thing that I really liked about you because that's that's what I do even in my wholesaling business. Mm. I still try to be as transparent as possible with even the sellers. Right. Okay. I was actually on an appointment today and I told him I may not be your buyer, 
this is what I do, this is what I do. It looks like you want more retail. You may have to go with a, uh, a realtor. I can recommend one for you. Uh, and they, sh they immediately shrugged. I don't want to deal with a realtor. And I'm like, great. Oh, I still may get it appraised and go, great. I'll follow up with you. We'll go from there. I was like, but my number is this amount. It was way under what they were looking for. Right. And I'm like, hey, this is the reason why. This is what I think I can sell it for after it's fixed up because of the interest rates being conservative. And I got to account for these big ticket items that we just don't know about. I, I know they need to be replaced.